Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. This is a quick guide on how to complete the birthplace of the vile Grandmaster Nightfall. I will first show you our loadouts followed by the strategies. Timestamps are in the description below. This Grandmaster contains overloads and unstoppables. All three shield types are present throughout the whole GM so have at least one weapon for each of those. The burn is also a void so bring with you some heavy void weapons or subclasses. Moving on to loadouts, we had a Warlock running Shade Binder for ad control combined with Osmiomancy Gloves for double stasis turrets. Our Hunter also ran stasis for ad control along with Renewal Grasps to buff Duskfield Grenades. However, you could also run the Tether for ad control along with Omni Oculus Armor for infinite invis bombs. The choice is yours. Finally, our Titan ran Sentinel Shield also for ad control as well as Ursa Gauntlets to generate additional super energy. Moving on to weapons, the Warlock ran Aegis Skepta Trace Rifle for ad control, a Void Scout Rifle for stunning overloads and to make use of the Void Burn. Finally, a Void Heavy Linear for DPS. The Hunter ran a Scout Rifle for stunning overloads, a Grenade Launcher for stunning unstoppables and blinding adds, as well as a Void Heavy Linear for damage. Finally, the Titan ran with a Horde for ad control along with a Hand Cannon for stunning unstoppables. Finally, they too ran a Void Heavy Linear for damage. Now on to mods starting with a class item. I suggest you run Lucent Finisher so that you can finish with champions for heavy ammo. The second mod that you should be running is Advanced Scout which makes champions that you stunned take additional damage from your teammates. For leg armor just run some ammo scavenging mods. For your chest armor I suggest you run the Seasons Energy Diffusion mod as it will reduce all incoming damage by 5%. I also suggest equipping a Sniper Resist mod as there are a few snipers throughout the whole GM. For your gauntlets don't forget your champion mods and finally for the helmet have some ammo finder mods on. If you have a solar helmet I suggest you run Ashes to Assets which will give you super energy upon grenade kills. These are the loadouts that we used. Either copy them or use them to make your own designs. You do not need the same loadouts, subclasses or characters that we have to complete this GM. With that out of the way let's get straight into it. As soon as you spawn in rotate to the bottom of the tunnel and snipe at the ads below you as they jump across the gap in the bridge. Among them will be two overloads so a well placed duskfield grenade will slow them all down for an easy kill. Once done rotate down the bridge until the next wave of ads spawn. Use the rocks around you for cover and focus on getting rid of the minor ads first. Among them will be a mini boss and a stubble champ along with some snipers. At any point you can also fall back up the bridge if you get overrun. Push up to the next room where you will need to activate a plate whilst defending it against the ads. There is no easy way to do this room so you have two options. Either have one person stand on the plate without leaving it and kill the ads as they rush them or simply jump onto the plate and jump off it every time a wave of ads spawns. If you have two people standing in the doorway, whoever is on the left shoots to the right and whoever is on the right shoots to the left. This way you have both sides of the room covered from the ads. You would think that the scrapes in the room would be the deadliest obstacle, however it's the void grenades the ads throw at you that are the worst. They will two shot you even with a void resist mod on. When the plate is done rotate to the top of the stairs but before you go through the doorway I suggest you use a super to clear the ads on the other side. The narrow doorway is ideal for grenades. Once on the other side look directly to your left and clear the snipers on the rock ledge before taking over the position. You can then use this position to snipe at the ads guarding the door at the back of the room or jump across towards them and use the stairs for cover. Be careful though among them will be an unstoppable champion as well as an overload. I recommend freezing the overload and getting rid of the unstoppable first so that it doesn't rush you. Go through the hallways until you reach this open area and immediately look to the left stairs by the door. Get rid of the ads before they have a chance to rush you. Then use the top of the stairs to clear out all the minor ads around you. There will be two overloads inside usually either at the back of the room or up on the left ledge. You could also rotate to the right of the stairs and jump onto the balcony around the corner and use it to outflank the ads. Go through the portal in the back which will lead you into this hallway filled with screeves and snipers. Just stick to the back and snipe at them as they try to rush you. When you begin to push up have one or two people stay behind for overwatch whilst one person lures the screeves out from the back. This way you can easily clear the room and leave the overload champion at the back for an easy finisher. You will be teleported back into this area so for reference point we will call it the darkened hallway. Jump through the next portal into this large room where you will need to activate the plates. But first stay at the top of the stairs and clear out the ads below you along with the two unstoppable champions. 
Have one frozen so that you can deal with them one at a time. Once done, rotate either the right or the left plate, but do them together. Have one person stand on the plate with the other two behind them on Overwatch. Remember that the ads have three spawn points around each of the plates, one of which is right behind it. Among the ads will be Screeps, freezing them is the best way to get rid of them. At some point, a chieftain will spawn so get rid of it ASAP so you don't get overwhelmed. Then go and repeat the same thing on the last plate. Just like before, there will be two spawn points at the back along with a third to your right coming up the stairs. Same as before, there will be another chieftain spawning halfway through. Head on through to the next room and proceed to the back of it. There are some stairs you can use for cover to get rid of the ads along with the unstoppable champion. Jump through the portal into the next area where you'll be met by this open room which we will call the red room. There are two paths, one on either side of the room and it doesn't matter which way you go because they both lead to the back. Pick a direction and go through it clearing out the ads until you reach the back stairs. Use them for cover to deal with the overload guarding the portal. On the other side is yet another room filled with ads and two overloads at the back. I suggest you use one super to clear out the ads until the overloads are on their own. This will make them easy targets for finishers if you need the heavy ammo. Up next is the bridge. Just stay at the top of it and shoot down upon the ads that are trying to rush you. One of the mini bosses will also be among them but one sentinel shield super is enough to dispose of them all. This will leave two unstoppable champions at the bottom along with a second mini boss. Use the pills around you for cover but ideally keep your distance and pepper them from the top of the bridge. You can also have one person go to the bottom to lure them out of hiding. You are now in the boss room. There are no safe areas here, so the key is to be on the move. The boss will spawn along with the ads and an overload champion. Decide who is using the super first and so on. Clear out all the minor ads, followed by the overload and then focus on the boss. Lower his health little by little and each time ads spawn, stop and focus on them. They will always spawn in small groups around the room. A dust field, vortex and storm grenades make short work of them. One well placed with a horde will kill most of them. Killing any singular ad with Aegis will freeze the whole group. Even running the frost pulse aspect on the shade binder will freeze a whole group if you cast your healing rift right in the middle of them. The other option is each time you see ads spawning go to the opposite side and snipe at them. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you could also use a Void Hunter with Omni Oculus to just repeatedly turn all three of you invisible. Just keep on damaging the boss, kill ads, damage the boss, and rinse and repeat. After losing a bar of health, you will be teleported into the darkened hallway. Same as before, stay at the back and have one person jump to the middle to lure the ads whilst the other two snipe. Try to leave the overload at the back of room for last to get a finisher on it for heavy ammo. Before teleporting, you could also wait until your supers are charged because as soon as you teleport back into the boss room, more ads along with an unstoppable champion will spawn. Use your supers one by one to clear out the minor ads, leaving the champ vulnerable on its own. Sentinel shield is excellent for generating orbs to get your supers back. The other option is to combine your supers to instantly damage a boss until it loses a full bar and teleports you. The only downside to this is if you fail to completely remove a bar of health which will leave you in a room filled with ads. Personally, stick with a method of slowly removing his health. When the boss is on his last health bar, you'll be teleported into the red room again. One more time, pick a side, go through it clearing the ads and deal with the overload right at the back. If you need to, wait for your supers to recharge before jumping through the portal. As soon as you are back into the boss room, yet another wave of ads will spawn including the last overload champion. Once again, chain your supers to dispose of the minor ads and the overload. Same as before, damage the boss, kill the ads, rinse and repeat. And there you have it, that is how you complete the birthplace with a vile nightfall on Grandmaster difficulty. If you have found the video to be helpful then please like, share and post a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more Destiny 2 guides. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.